I bought this webcam second hand off eBay and on setting it up I found that the USB cable did not reach from my PC to the top of my monitor. I tried to use a USB extension cable but I was presented with the Windows unrecognized device detected error. Now I could have used an external powered USB hub but I decided to see if it was possible to replace the USB cable with an Ethernet cable. My reason for wanting to do this is because the Ethernet cable is formed of twisted pairs of wires. These wires minimize the impact of external interference and allow for the signal to travel much further along the cable. I was successful at replacing the USB cable with an Ethernet cable and in this video I will show you the method that I used to do this. Also included is a quality comparison of the recorded footage against the original USB webcam. For this guide I'm using a Logitech C270 webcam, but this method can also be applied to other USB webcam models. In addition to the webcam you will also require an Ethernet cable, a screwdriver, wire cutters, wire strippers, a multimeter, a soldering iron toolkit, some glue, some electrical tape and an Ethernet to USB adapter. If you don't have one of these adapters then you can check out our how to video guide here. Alternatively I will show you how to make one as part of this video where in addition you will need a USB cable, an Ethernet plug and boot, an Ethernet coupling block and an Ethernet crimping tool. To open the webcam you must firstly remove the outer fascia. Then with the screwdriver tool remove the three exposed screws. Next remove the outer casing to reveal the webcam circuit board. Here you will see the webcam's camera, microphone and LED. Next remove the rubber tube surrounding the microphone as this is susceptible to falling off. Again with the screwdriver tool, remove the screws which are holding the webcam's circuit board to the rear casing. Then carefully pry up and turn over the circuit board without putting too much tension on the exposed wires. Here you will see the connector which connects the USB cable to the circuit board. It is important to note down the color and positioning of these wires for later use for connecting the ethernet cable. For this webcam the order of colors from top to bottom are red, white, green and black. There is also an additional black wire which connects to the rear of the circuit board. This wire is used to earth the webcam and serves no real purpose. Once you have noted down the order of colors in this connector you can cut the USB cable free from the circuit board. If you wish to use the existing connector to solder the Ethernet cable to, then make sure you leave a few inches of attached wire and you can skip the next few steps. Alternatively, you can solder the Ethernet cable directly to the circuit board, in which case you now need to use a multimeter to identify suitable soldering points. For this webcam, suitable soldering points have been labeled TP28 TP31, TP40 and TP42. As the Ethernet cable I am using is formed of single core wire, I have found it does not solder very well to the circuit board. To resolve this I shall instead solder a few inches of wires from the existing USB cable and then solder these onto the Ethernet cable. It is recommended to color coordinate these wires such that they match the USB connection on the other end. For this webcam that means the red wire should be soldered to TP31, the white wire should be soldered to TP40, the green wire should be soldered to TP42 and the black wire should be soldered to TP28. Next, take the Ethernet cable and with the wire cutters cut off one of the ends. Then thread this end through the rear of the webcam housing. Then with the wire strippers strip back about an inch of the cable. As the USB cable only uses four wires, 
only two of the twisted pairs in the Ethernet cable will be used, namely the orange pair on pins 1 and 2, and the green pair on pins 3 and 6. Again with the wire strippers, strip back between a half to a centimetre off the end of each of these pairs. These wires can then be soldered to either the existing USB connector or the wires that have been soldered to the circuit board. The orange wire should be soldered to the red wire. The orange and white wire should be soldered to the black wire. The green wire should be soldered to the green wire. And the green and white wire should be soldered to the white wire. Now you can use the electrical tape to cover the exposed solder and wires. You can use the glue to secure any soldered wires to the circuit board. Once this has dried, you can reassemble the webcam. Turn the circuit board over and screw it to the rear casing. At this stage, you might be interested to know that the dial surrounding the camera can be rotated to manually focus the webcam. Now replace the rubber tube on the microphone and reattach the front casing. Screw this into place and reattach the front fascia. This completes the replacement of the USB cable with an Ethernet cable. Now it is left to create the Ethernet to USB adapter. To make the Ethernet to USB adapter, take the USB cable and cut off the male end leaving about a foot of attached cable. Then take the Ethernet boot and slide it over the free end of the cable. With the wire strippers, strip off about an inch off the end of this cable and then arrange the wires from left to right, red, black, green and white as this is the order they will be going into the Ethernet plug. With the crimping tool, trim these wires so that they finish flat. Then insert these wires into the Ethernet plug. The red wire should be in pin 1, the black wire in pin 2, the green wire in pin 3, and the white wire in pin 6. Now insert the Ethernet plug into the crimping tool and press down until the clasp shuts firmly around the cable. Then you can slide up the Ethernet boot to complete the Ethernet to USB adapter. Now you are ready to connect the webcam to your PC. Firstly connect the Ethernet cable from the webcam to the Ethernet coupling block and then attach this to the Ethernet to USB adapter. Plug the adapter into your PC and then use suitable software such as OBS to find your webcam. What follows is a quality comparison of the footage recorded from the original USB webcam and the Ethernet connected webcam. This is footage recorded by the original USB connected webcam. It is recording at 720p and the focus has been manually adjusted. The total cable length measures 1.4 meters. This is footage recorded by the Ethernet connected webcam. It is recording at 720p and the focus has been manually adjusted. The total cable length measures 3.1 meters. As you can see from the recorded footage, there is little to no quality loss from using the Ethernet connected webcam. Also, the signal has been successfully extended by a further 1.7 meters. This concludes our how-to guide. Thank you very much for watching.